Hi there, welcome back to Pretty Much Flawless. Today in this video, we are going to be fixing some fan lights that has started blinking mysteriously. Let's get into it. So remember, line voltage is dangerous and it can kill you. If you see me doing something in this video, I'm taking safety precautions. So I'm not responsible for anything you try to do. And remember, when we're working with line voltage, you always stay very safe. All right, so you can see these lights are flickering on this fan, and uh, we, we want to fix that. So, first thing we'll try is try adju adjusting a dimmer. These uh, lights on the fan here are on a dimmer, so we can adjust that and see if that changes anything. All right, so you can see when I adjusted the dimmer there that uh, something changed. There was this one section where it stopped flickering. Now what we can do is we'll shut off the circuit breaker and open it up and uh, see what we can find. All right, so there's four screws around here to remove. We we'll have to turn the fan blades a little bit. Correction, there's only three screws actually holding this thing on. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this uh, fan thing off. And you can see here we have a connector here. So now what we'll do is we'll unlatch this connector here so you can pull this uh, light off and do some further testing on the bench here. There we go. All right, so we have it on the bench now and now we can uh, start diagnosing here. So right now uh, we're showing this is a wattage limiter. So basically if you have a lot of high wattage bulbs hooked onto this, what this will do is stop the circuit from turning on because over wadging can lead, lead to overcurrent and then overcurrent that can burn your wires and make or get them very very hot and that might start a fire so that's there for some safety and protection all right so what we're doing now is we're taking the Marex off here and we are just going to test just the four light bulbs so we're going to disconnect the wattage limiter thing and we're going to hook across our wires to the neutral and we're going to hook into the hot the all the uh, light bulbs and then we'll test it and see if it works because the light bulbs might need to be replaced or it's probably just a water swimmer all right let's power this up oh boy what's gonna happen is this gonna end this spectacular failure here we go right now i'm powering this from my auto transformer there'll be a link in the description down below on my video about auto transformers all right here we go Turning up the voltage very slowly. 10 volts. 20 volts. 30 volts. Well, let's take about 30 volts. So you can see all the um, lights are coming on. These are dim dimmable type lights. Other lights might not be dimmable and this might not work at such a low voltage, but uh, 30 volts. That's good. Kind of a lower voltage compared to 20 vo 120 volts. Yeah, so we know all these LEDs, they don't seem to be flashing. We can increase the power a bit more. 50 volts, 70 volts, 80 volts, 90 volts. So, um, yeah, you can see they aren't flickering. So I'm pretty sure that uh, it's not the light bulbs because all, all of them are flashing at the same time. There you go, power off. Unplugged, disconnected, there you go. All right, so I'm pretty confident that it's this right here. This is a wattage limiter, and so what we'll do is, as of right now, we will disconnect this from the circuit. So what is this? Pretty much flawless removes the safety feature? Well, let's give some explanation. So, that's for just limiting the wattage. If you have too many high wattage light bulbs hooked onto that, that will basically stop the circuit. So, those are 6 watt bulbs there. Each one of them and uh, as far as I'm here we we'll always if those burn out we'll just put the exact same 6 watt style of bulbs back and maybe in a future video we'll try to fix the wattage limiter thing but uh, also if you're gonna try to do this to your fan you'll probably want to uh, refer to your local electrician and what the codes might vary from a uh, place to place
So right now we're just going to take our hot wire from our switch that uh, used to go to the wattage limiter there and we're just going to wire this directly up here. Alright, so we got these morets on and now what we'll do is we'll go back upstairs, replug this in and see if that fixes the problem. Alright, so now we will reinstall this. The power is off, just in case you're concerned. And plus, they did uh, a very good job. Instead of having a whole bunch of wires, they have this nice connector, which is very, very handy because it'd be, uh, I guess, harder to shock yourself. You still could. See your bit of push. Kind of hard to do with one hand. Here you go. There we go, got it. Alright, so let's remember which way this was here. This uh, cord was over here. Just to get the connector and everything inside there, and there we go. Alright. Now we can try flipping the light switch and see if that fixes the blinking. First we'll have to turn on the breaker. I think that's the blinking fixed. Perfect. So now what we'll do is we'll shut off the power again. And then we'll put the, all the screws back in and we'll be good. All right, just a quick tip. What you want to do with these uh, screws are out. What has to happen is it will hit the fan plate. So you want to make sure they're all tightened before turning back on the circuit breaker and running the fan. Here, you can just give it a uh, free spin here. Nothing hits, so that's good. So we're going to turn back on the power. And there we go. That's now the pretty much false job. Thanks for watching this video today. Hope you learned something. If you did, please subscribe. That would really help my channel. Yeah, I'll see you next time.